Hi there. In this tutorial, we'll cover localization, or how you can adapt your app for different languages. With Flutterflow, you can easily translate your application into over 100 plus languages in order to allow international audiences to access your product. Let me show you how you can set this up in minutes. First, we're going to navigate over to the settings page on Flutterflow and select the language tab. Here, we can select our primary language for the app and also add all the languages we want our users to be able to access. Flutterflow features multiple different languages that we can add into our application, including languages that are read from right to left. For this example, I'm going to add in Bengali, Arabic, French, and Chinese, but there's way more that you can choose from. Once you've added your selected languages, you can scroll down and select Translate All, which will create the translations for all of your selected application pages. We're just going to click Translate here. It's worth noting that the translation also affects permission text, and a message and dialog boxes in your application. Now that the translation is complete, let's head back over to our canvas. Here at the top, you'll find the language drop-down tab, and this will allow you to scroll through all our different language options that we've translated. Here's Chinese, here's Bengali, and here's Arabic. And you can notice that the orientation of the application also changes automatically once you select the language that reads from right to left. Now let's also check out the other pages of this application as well. Here's the product listing page in Arabic, in Bengali, switching over once again, Chinese, English, and French. Now flipping over to the cart page, you can see that the pages have also been translated in terms of the numerical translations and what's involved when a user is finalizing their purchase through an e-commerce app. As you can see, Flutterflow translates all the selected application pages all at once for easy accessibility. And that's how easy it is to localize your application and reach international audiences with your product. I hope this tutorial has been helpful and we'll see you in the next one.